All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are gonna be showcasing the first ever LR Extreme Z Awakening in the history of this game, at least on the global side. Actually, you know what? When he first came to JP, he was still the first LR EZA. It's just, they have a few more now. So what I said before was totally fine. So yeah, first ever LR Extreme Z Awakening in Dokkan history, and of course, I'm talking about the STR LR Goku Black, or LR Zamasu Bracket Goku that you guys see on your screens. And without further ado, let's get this showcase started and see just how much better this unit is now compared to his pre-awakened counterpart. Oh, by the way, for anybody that wants to see a showcase of him without the EZA for maybe comparison purposes, then feel free to go check out the video through the link above my head. Okay, so let's get it started. And on this first rotation, we're linked up with the AGL Zamasu, and we have 79,642 defense to start, which is, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not amazing either. I just say it's, it's okay. Around 80,000 defense on the first turn. Now, keep in mind, you will be able to get more defense and more attack as we go through the event and he kills some enemies. Every single time he delivers a final blow, he gets stronger. So hopefully this first super is enough to kill the Goku. That'd be a nice start to the showcase. Okay, so that was around what, 2.1 mil or something like that. And yes, we do kill the Goku. So we get that first final blow, get an additional attack and defense plus 20% on his passive. And next time he comes back, he'll be even stronger, right? I know that damage was not the most impressive, but we're, we're setting it up right now. This is a setup for future, you know, damage output and future impressive showings. Okay, so yeah, first turn, not too bad. And uh, yeah, 91,390 defense now up from 79,000. So yeah, that 20% is going to make a big difference. I mean, each of the 20% boosts is going to make a big difference because they're actually calculated separately. So once he's fully stacked up, with three final blows, he's actually gonna be, I believe, getting a full boost of 152% attack and defense, which is pretty significant for an LR. And even though he actually didn't get any additional attack boost or, or any stat boost actually from the Extreme Z Awakening, his stats to begin with were already really high, right? He had 18,400 attack, like 18,000 something HP and 11,000 defense. So yeah, even though they didn't give him an additional boost, he still has amazing stats, especially for a free-to-play unit. And uh, that's why the additional you know, 20% attack and defense boosts with his passive, with the final blows, make a pretty huge difference. So yeah, I mean, I said in the previous showcase, if you guys watched that, that I was already impressed with his output, right? I was like, already pretty happy with what he was doing without the EZA. But now with the Extreme Z Awakening, with a better passive, with a better um, super attack or two super attacks that are both better, with more super attack levels, 25 compared to 20, uh, he should be pretty impressive here. So I'm actually, actually this is a tough one because I don't know if his super will be enough to take out the Goku. But at the same time, yeah, at the same time, I feel like Rose would kill Goku by himself, which also is an issue. Maybe I should just risk it. Yeah, we'll just risk it. Okay, it's fine. I mean, if we don't deliver the final blow here, it, we'll, we'll get more chances in the future, right? So hopefully Rose actually lets us down here and doesn't do enough damage. Like if he doesn't crit, I think Goku should still be alive. And right when I say that, he crits. Of course, yo, you guys that have seen my showcases, you know, man, you know, these showcases often actually do not go the way you want them to, so I shouldn't even be surprised there, really. I don't know why I'm surprised that <laughs> as soon as it said, don't crit, he crits. But it's okay, it's okay. Like I said, it's early in the showcase, it's um, only the first like three or four turns, so there's no rush. There's no rush, we still got a bunch of other stages to do, but um, 
you guys are in for a treat, man. He's gonna be he's gonna be doing some big numbers in a bit once we get uh, you know those final blows and uh, get some supports on rotation. Get him linked up with the Rose as well as another support. It should be a good time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So now this is the third appearance for the Rose. Or sorry, for the Goku Black. His defense is at 99,927. So almost 100,000. Like just it's like right there. And once again, I'm going to let the Rose super first. And just trust that he doesn't crit. Although I have a feeling he's going to. Because once again... That's just how it goes. Every single time I want something to not happen in a showcase, it usually didn't happen that time. Wow, okay, 3.7 million. Attack stat of 3.7 million, we kill the Goku, that's the second final blow. So now we're up to 40% of that passive, we just need one more, right? One more, I keep saying final blow, I don't like that term actually, I think it's stupid. Um, kill shot maybe? Man, we need one more of those, and uh, he'll be fully maxed out on his passive. But as you can see, man, already a big difference here. Uh, actually, you can't see it here, but <laughs> you'll see it in a second. On the next rotation, once we have the Rosé, um, as well as the... Uh, I think it'd be Supreme Kai of Time, right? Yeah, with the Supreme Kai of Time, too. He's going to be getting a lot of defense. And his damage... I mean, he was already at 3.7 mil last turn. Next turn, he should be over 4 mil. If we kill the Goku here, then it's going to be even higher. He's a good unit, man. The only the only issue I have with him, I'll be straight up, and I said this in the previous video too, and nothing's changed because it's the same mechanic with the EZA still, is that he only gets that additional attack on his passive when you're facing two or more enemies, which is super annoying because, let's be honest, a lot of new events in this game don't have you facing two or more enemies a lot of times you're facing just one guy just like right here like with this event you're facing just one guy and um you know like you're never gonna be able to get that part of his passive to activate even though it's a really key component of it like he's getting an additional attack with a medium chance to become a super attack when facing two or more enemies if there was no restriction on that you know what if they changed it to like when only facing one enemy it would have been much better I'll be honest, because like I said, most events in this game, especially the harder ones, uh, you're facing only one enemy. I thought about actually doing the showcase on Super Battle Road, because of course on Super Battle Road, a lot of times you are facing multiple enemies. But with Super Battle Road, is so variable that like, I, I just feel like it would have like died so many times, you know, in the first couple of turns, and it, it just would have been annoying. So that's why I elected to not do that. But uh, wow. <laughs> okay <laughs> clearly he doesn't need it man clearly he doesn't need that additional super because he's already getting close to 5 million attack yo <laughs> that's actually insane <laughs> that's actually insane um yeah so what i'm gonna do here is actually pop a princess snake because uh yeah this guy can be pretty scary the the Godku can hit you really, really hard, so we're going to be playing it safe. I'm going to pop that item, just to ensure that we make it to the next turn. And then we have a million STR orbs saved up for our Rosé as well. Why do I keep saying Rosé? I think it's because recently I showcased the uh, Int Rosé, like multiple times, 55% and 100%. So now I just have Rosé on my mind. Or maybe it's because I can't stop pulling the Rosé. Spoilers. Not really. You know, I'm going to just tell you guys right now. <laughs> Uh, I did an off-camera summon just for fun because I don't know I have a problem and uh, I, I, I got um, what was it what was the animation it was Chao Tu and Tian and Chao Tu right and I was like okay featured unit whatever though we're not gonna get like anything good or I doubt we're gonna get anything good and we ended up getting another rosé so if you guys saw my video from earlier today uh we pulled one in that video and let me just focus actually on the token attack here before i continue the story i can do both okay so yeah we pulled one in that video so it was 79 percent and then 
yeah, I did the multi off camera, pulled another one. So now he's at 90%, 90% in the hidden potential system, which is good, but also like bad at the same time because I'm so tempted to go back in now. And I know I shouldn't. I know it's a terrible idea, but like I just really want to. <laughs> and I have no stones, man. I have like 40 stones right now, so I would have to buy more stones. And it's just, I shouldn't do it. I really shouldn't, but you guys know me. I have a problem. I've said this multiple times. I just, it's an addiction. It really is. I should go to counseling. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, but there's a good chance you're going to see at least another, like one more summoning video from me for the Rosie and Broly banner, just because we're so close, right? Same thing happened with the LR Blue Fusions. Like after I rainbowed Vegito Blue, I, I did a couple more multis or like one or two more videos for Gogeta. Just kept pulling Gogetas, so I was like, F it. I'm rainbowing Gogeta too. So we ended up rainbowing him in like the video after that. And I feel like it's gonna be a very similar situation here. A very similar situation here for the Rosé. Okay, so yeah, Goku Black has 132,000 defense now, which is good, but probably not good enough really to hold up against the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So I'm going to pop a Princess Snake, just to be safe. I mean, it's not only for the uh, it's not only for the the Goku Black. It's also for the West Supreme Kai, of course, because she's gonna get hit really hard. Okay, so we'll give those the Rosé, give those to Goku Black, and she can take those. Alright, so everybody's supering. I'm expecting some really good damage here from the Rosé. Defensively, she'll be, I mean, it's not really its not really a test because obviously we have the items, so you can't really properly judge how much damage you would have taken. But just pay attention to the damage here, okay? Pay attention to that, that attack number, or to attack stat. Yo, <laughs> that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. 5.3 million attack. Yeah, okay. I see. I see. Um, so yeah, I mean, I I think that's 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 pretty much all you guys need to see. I'm probably gonna die this turn. But that's okay, because that's pretty much the end of the showcase anyways. He's not going to get more attack from here. Um, he probably could get like a little bit more if um, we get the Supreme Kai of Time on rotation and her passive activates, where like she gives 42%, but it's only like a minor difference. So yeah, he's going to max out around there, which I'm totally okay with, right? I think that's, that's perffectly fine for a free-to-play LR. Yeah, this man's gonna get us killed, but that's okay. Guys, thank you for watching today's showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Man's a monster. We're dead. But uh, yeah, man, for a free-to-play unit, man, like, that that's actually not that hard to back out either if you guys need a guide to, like, get him fully awakened and... Oh, nice. <laughs> Reset. Um, fully awakened and SA25 without using any Kai's. Feel free to go check out my guide. Uh, I'll put a link above my head, and it just goes through, you know, how to get like how many copies you need, how many medals you need, all that stuff to get him fully done. And I would recommend everybody to do him, you know, like to, to, to farm him and get him done because he's worth it, man. As you just saw, he's an absolute monster, and uh, I'm glad that he's finally on the global side. First, LR Extreme Z Awakening does not disappoint. In my opinion, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date. Yo, why am I lagging? You guys see this, right? For some reason, at the end of my videos, my webcam just starts lagging. It's like it knows it's over. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like it's like it's not that bad, but like definitely not as smooth as it was before. Anyways, doesn't matter. That is the video. Um, what was I saying before? 
subscribe to the channel, join the Tiger Squad. Oh, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. Stay tuned for most likely another LR Rose video to try to, you know, rainbow him. But uh, until then, have an awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.